Hey T, I'm gonna um, put on speakerphone something that I'm listening to right now, so the camera can cap can capture it, and I want you to listen to this as well, and that way they will know what I'm listening to. It's you know what it is, it's um, it's an interview by a very young Steve Jobs. Do you know the full story of how he he and Apple like the full story? Do you know the whole story? Um, you want to know real quick? So it's an amazing story. Basically, he, he had one of the first startups in history in like the 70s. As a, as a young kid, he helped build the first computer. He and his friends started building more and more. They, be, they had this, the second version, they, like early 80s. And then uh, he hired a CEO to run the company that became Apple Computer. It was like a multi-million dollar, hundred million dollar company by then. Like, and then uh, they didn't trust him because he was a kid still. And they put him in a, little, in a little silo project that wasn't the main project. And he built the most advanced computer in the world with him and his small team. And he was like, that's going to be the next thing we do. And um, he forced it on the company. He brought it into the company. And so the CEO he hired to, to, to run the company fired him from Apple. So in 1985, he gets fired from his own company, having built the most incredible computer ever made, having poured you know, years and years and, and having done the most amazing progress possible. So he, it was a very painful thing. 1986, 1987, he's like in the wilderness. It's really bad. He starts another company. And it, it's not, it's not going to be successful. We know that. It ne it's never going to be great. And then Apple, by this point, having had this incredible computer that he invented for them, they stopped making new computers. And they kept milking and milking the one computer. Uh, and by that point, other companies caught up. So basically, Apple was on its way to bankruptcy. Um, and it was 90 days from bankruptcy when they brought him back in. And they're like, can you do something? Like, it's over. It's basically over for us. He's like, and he's on record saying there's nothing to be done. It's not possible. It's just too far back. But I'll try. He, he creates a new line of computers. He, he and his team invent the iPod. And then they invent other things. They invent the Apple stores, the iPhone, these MacBooks. Um, then they invent the iPad, you know, and be it becomes the most valuable company in the world. And so that whole journey, it's just, just an amazing story. So here's an example of the kinds of things he says, yeah? For entrepreneurs? Yeah, for young, young, young This is during oh, when he was still well, fired. And I have a pretty standard answer, which is a lot of people come to me and they say, well, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I go, oh, that's great. What's your idea? And they go, well, I don't have one yet. I say, well, I think you should go get a job as a busboy or something so you find something you're really passionate about because it's a lot of work. And I'm convinced that about half of what separates the successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. 